Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome to our Mandalorian Season 2 finale review. We're going to first talk about the episode, and then we're going to talk about the season as a whole and where it's going in the future. And that's going to be a, uh, a little bit later on in the in this video. So, the episode as a whole. Fantastic episode till the end. And... Wait, wait, wait to hear us out here. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> I, I could hear people closing out the window now. Yeah, you know, like I, people are handing that dislike button already. <laughs> the actual ending of the episode was phenomenal. Me and Allie screamed when we saw some stings. All right. That's true. I did scream. Was... But then it just cuts. And that's okay. what—that's the flaw I have. It, that it just cuts. It doesn't wrap up anything. It just cuts. Yeah. So, all right. Let's talk about who the Jedi was. Luke, motherfucker. <laughs> I was so excited. Like I was laying in bed, and as soon as I saw that green saber, I kid you not, we, I shot up in bed and screamed. We both <laughs> I was yelled. Like, no way! It cannot be. We both. <laughs> yelled verbally out loud yeah when i'm sure Luke... her boyfriend hates me for it but i was so excited because i knew instantly yeah we knew instantly it was luke like the x-wing i was like okay cool and then they didn't answer i was like okay so it's a jedi and then yeah we're like all right jedi jedi got it because yeah. even like little grogu over there was like mm, doing his like weird doo-doo shit and uh that yeah. it was it was so so good those like the fighting scenes and just like he did it so flawlessly i think the biggest problem is that it leaves so many unanswered questions yeah. and then it cuts off and it still doesn't answer those questions and we know there's going to be a season three but we don't really know what that entails yeah so let, let's just let's backtrack a little bit well we're gonna backtrack because we'll talk about that right. at the end <laughs> the the intro to this episode with Mando, Boba Fett, and all going basically and collecting people that we have talked to and interacted with over the course of the season. That is how a finale should be. It was, I mean, you had oh, that person for episode two, that person for episode four, and yeah, like, it was like get, gathering all the troops up, and you're like, all right, let's kick some ass, let's get a plan. Yep. But why was the like? I don't want to say it because of YouTube reasons, but you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's like Holocaust and stuff, like the doctor. The doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why did he help them? Just randomly. Why did he help them? He was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna give them this information uh, willingly." Yeah. Like I figured, I thought he was gonna be like the hostage. Like, yeah, I was like, "What is he doing?" Like, yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> um, they just. I think but, they just arrested him because he wasn't on the ship or anything so. yeah so he was like whatever here here's all the information yeah. i was like all right cool but uh where's catch in this and, and it wasn't there was no catch um but that whole scene where they are getting aboard getting in ship that was phenomenal. so intense. that was intense it was amazing it was so well shot like it was CGI, but it was still so. <laughs> I was say, CGI, <laughs> but it it was well like edited. It, was, it, it yeah, it, the, it felt like movie quality, like what you would see if you were to watch a Star Wars movie, like the actual fight scenes yeah. of like the battleships. That's what it would look like, yeah. definitely. So yeah, I mean, it hit it at the expectations I have. For Star Wars, especially with the, like, in the space yeah. battle scenes, those are what I expect. Um, and then Boba Fett got the fuck out of there. Um, strike. <sighs> just gone. Um, yeah. What was that? Like, he left the other chick with them. Yes. That was with him. And then Boba Fett was like, peace, yo. And we don't see him until well, the very, no very end. Well, he had nowhere to land his ship. Like, the whole point of that plan was for them to dock true, and block that, true. block the hole so no one could escape. So, I guess he was just flying around this whole time. Well, like, he, had 
he hit warp speed and got the fuck out of there. Um, oh, he's he said yeet. Um, <laughs> so then you got the the badass women going through the whole ship, just kicking ass, killing everybody. That was pretty fucking great, like woman power right there. Loved it. Well, I think um, what really helps there um, is because they did it right. They have. They built, did do it right. They also built these characters up, so you actually care about them, and it's not like the, they're just giving them this moment to give them this moment. And you know, I think that's the thing that I really love about Star Wars is that it's so empowering to women, and they do it where it's not in a derogatory or demeaning way at all. Like it just it feels natural, and it's like yeah, like you know. Men can kick ass, same with women. And, like, I know that's, like, a whole different conversation piece, but that's what I really liked about those four female characters that they developed throughout the season and that we... Well, that's the key. They developed them. (laughs) Yeah, if they didn't develop them, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. But that's the whole thing is they they did. And so that... I mean, A plus to the writers in that aspect because that's not always the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Um. Mando fighting the the dark troopers. Um, that was well, pretty epic. One dark well, trooper. One. Um, and that man was punching him so hard he was like molding into the wall. Um, oh my god! I thought he was gonna like break his neck. I, was like, I thought oh, it was god, gonna you're... break the helmet. No, because I I remember. Um, because before they went on, she said something about how the dark saber, the most powerful thing. Well, yeah, but this was when the trooper was. Yeah, but like couldn't break through the beskar. Yeah. So if that can break through, then I doubt those punches would. It just looked painful. Well, I know that. <laughs> so there is one. So his suit, again, beskar, um, and then he had that, that, what is it, spear? His beskar spear. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that helped him out. That whole sequence was great. I knew as soon as they got ejected in the airlock, I was like, okay, well, they're, they'll be back. Cause, uh, oh, they'll be back. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like alien shit. Like, oh, you think you got rid of them? LOL, no. Well, they're also um, not alive. So, like, there's no, that. Exactly. Like, they have jetpacks built into them. Like, you know they're going to come back. Yeah. Um, so you got that whole scene. Then the, the real tense moment where... Where my man had that dark saber right there above Baby Yoda. I literally thought he was gonna be like, "Oops!" <laughs> and just drop it on him. I was like, "I know that's not gonna happen," but like. And then imagine. I mean, Mandalorian, he falls for it, but it was obviously a trick. I was obviously like, we're like, eh, it can't be that easy. And no. sure enough, it wasn't. No, the one thing, a minor nitpick is I would have liked that battle. To have been longer between them two because you had this building all season you did have a building all season and it felt very short it was very short i would have liked to seen more and yes mandalorian's not a trained acrobat fighter um but he was holding his own i mean he won so (laughs) can't be that bad um but i do wish that scene was a little bit longer and then you had they, they set up this moment where the dark saber is Mando's, and in order for um, oh, what's her name? Bo-Katan. Oh, Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan. Yeah. Um, in order for Bo-Katan to get it back, she has to win it in she combat. Fight it. Which, yeah. and they that- never answer this. They just leave it like that. They're like, oh, oh someone's coming. <laughs> that was intriguing to me. Like, I wanted to, I wanted one, see that fight. I thought it was going to happen. I thought she was going to turn on him and try fighting him. And I was like, oh, shit, he's going to have to kill her. Well, I thought it was going to be one of those fights where it's like, I really don't want to fight you, but this is my only option. Because she is so, she really wants to yeah, and then they, Mandalorians it, back to where they were of their home planet and like that's her way of getting it yeah and now it's ruined like unless if she fights him and yeah. then they're like oh look it's the dark troopers coming oh look a jedi like okay 
let me just take the child and leave, and then, boom, darkness. Like, excuse me, please answer this fucking question for me. Like, what? What? Yeah, that that's one of the things that. Okay, so she is Bo-Katan is the one person who really doesn't have a spinoff from Mandalorian. I and I'm I'm okay with that because I personally do not like her as a character. I, I never grew, grew fond of her. I like moments with her, other moments. Um, I just I wish they answered the whole dark saber thing with Mando. Like, yeah, we get it. Mando owns it now. But does that mean he's going to help them? Well, that's what I figured was going to be a a season three line. That was going to be one of the plots for season three. Which, to be honest, the fact that Baby Yoda's gone, your MacGuffin is gone. (laughs) So Basically, like, you're already going to have, like, the majority of the franchise leave because Baby Yoda's gone. Look, I'm a huge Star Wars fan personally, but if Baby Yoda wasn't in this, I wouldn't have watched it for shit. I will tell you that right off the bat. The, it was, you know why I'm here. <laughs> Baby Yoda was the reason I got... It, it was, like, the main source of me pulling Allie into this show. Um, I, the, just, I thought a cute little Baby Yoda was the cutest thing to draw me in. Because I don't usually like spinoffs and, like, things that intertwine with the movies. Because usually it's not done right. No. This, I was actually surprised by. But now that they've gotten rid of Baby Yoda, that the whole arc of the story now changes. Yeah, with and, the Mandalorian. And that's the thing. So I thought the Dark Saber was a route for season three of the Mandalorian. I thought that's where it was going. And or, then... or it could have been Mandalorian helping her fa- get that home planet of the Mandalorians back. And even if it was a short season, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Like, at least have that be the last season to wrap up Mandalorian completely and be like, well, look, he helped them and got his home planet back. How peaceful and great. And la dee da And you know that, like, Luke's training Grogu over there, and it's all butterflies and rainbows. But before we get to the season three of Mandalorian, I want to talk about Luke for a second. Loved Luke. CGI, not the best. I probably would have just preferred Mark Hamill in a wig and them de age his face I a little bit. I feel like have those issues with that, though. I feel, I feel I, like I, there's going to be issues if it was that way. But the whole, like, but, Star Wars is about practical effects. Like, the fact that oh, Baby Yoda is majority practical is what r- really pulls people in a lot. Um, oh, I know. And I felt like just them de aging Luke a little bit with cgi i mean they did disney did samuel L. jackson in captain marvel they de-aged him to look like him from the 90s so I, it, but how expensive is that like but it's it was only a few scenes they didn't even show his face until the end because like that's what i wonder is like maybe they did it for a budget standpoint and there's more to it financially well like economically that we don't see yeah. as the viewer. Um, because that often happens in films and like TV shows. Yeah. Is like they do things because of the budget. budget. Yeah, and I understand that, but it still to me feels like they kind of went the cheaper way out. Um, I and yeah. it didn't look right. There was moments where his face looked very flat. Um, it yeah, looked, it like looked a like almost like a hologram. Yeah. Like, not like a... It was just like 2D. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's put a poster of him, like a cutout, and just place him there. That's kind of how it felt at some points. Um, now, maybe there were other if they didn't show too much of him, maybe it would have been better, but... Um, yeah, I'm, no. R2-D2 showed up, and... Oh my god, I was like, oh my god, him and Baby Yoda, this is iconic. I it, so it was cute. fantastic, and but he, on to that season three thing. That's the episode ends cuts right when uh, Mandalorian is crying. He was tearing up, and all that, that was hard to actually watch. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, because like you know how much he loves Grogu, and Grogu loves him, and like Grogu wanted him to take off the helmet, and I was like. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's so sweet. Like, he wanted him to know what this face was after taking care of him for so long. 
Yeah, it it definitely um it, it it was a very emotional moment. But then the episode cuts. You get, yeah, it you get was, some credits. It's and then you have some post credit scene with Boba Fett taking over Jabba the Hutt's palace. Which first off, I have a huge problem with that Jabba. The fuck was that? That, that was, was not Jabba. Jabba, Jabba. What? The Jabba died in the third movie. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, it was just someone so on Jabba's... I was Jabba's, so fucking confused. It was like, on was Jabba's like, throne. Remember, this takes place... Uh, okay. Like, no, that, 10, 20 so years. I was just... I had things messed up. I was like, because that's not the Jabba I know. But that would make sense. Okay, so never mind. Yeah. Not, just take that out. <laughs> yeah. So, um... <laughs> so, um, you just have him taking the throne and sitting on it. And then it says the book of Boba, Boba Fett, December twenty twenty one. Twenty one. And it's like, okay, well, that's. I thought that's when Mandalorian season three was happening, and they're not going to be competitive against each other. No, um, they're not going to be. So like, turns out, with some research, season three is going to be the book of Boba Fett. At least that's what we found. At right? least, yeah, that's what we found so far. Which I got problems with. I got so many problems with. And like we were talking about this before we hit the record button. And I just I don't know what they're doing at this point. Like a big issue I have with it is the fact that not all Amanda was wrapped up. No. Um, There's a lot of like Little things that need to be wrapped up still. Yes. Um, everyone loves Mando the character. Um, yeah, you see TikTok simp over him, so. Yeah. Uh, he's in Fortnite. Literally, like, <sighs> everybody loves Mando. Like, if it wasn't Baby Yoda that you were watching the show for, you it was because of Mando. Yeah, I loved like, it for Mando. It was... <laughs> I loved it for Baby Yoda, so, yeah. like... <laughs> You know, but like that was like the huge split I saw between viewers. Like, at least when I'm in the like media and stuff, that's what I see for it. I don't see every side of the like fans. Yeah. <laughs> but the issue with Boba Fett taking for season three, I didn't see where it was enough. Like, it wasn't intriguing enough. They didn't leave I don't enough think it was elements. Tricky. Okay, so he's gonna take over the throne, yeah. like... Okay, he's got it. <laughs> okay, cool, like, what next? Like, he's got it, so what's... The, that seems like an end point of a season. Um, yeah, but he's not, like... There's no... Oh, man, what do you call it? Um. There's no... Like, the the cliffhangers Parker? were for... The cliff... I guess. But, like, there's nothing to go after... Well, that's the thing. Is there's no perp to go after. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of like, And well, over and over it said that, like, it's just that he's not a Mandalorian. He is just, it's just his suit. It's just love, armor that the dad got. He's a great character, and I love yes. Boba Fett from the movies so, so much. I really do. Because, And, honestly, like, the I moment he it. showed up in this... And this it was season so exciting, but was exciting. I just don't see where we're going. It doesn't make any sense. And I hope that maybe they release a little bit more information as we go along. Because right now... I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> like, I'm, I'm very lost. Yeah, um, I, I almost... I'm like, why do I want to watch season three? Like... If it's what? season three, like that's the thing. It's so they everything's kind of like foggy. That like is Boba Fett yeah, like, season three the Mandalorian or is he Mando his own? Uh, um, there's just a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah, so many of them, and like you can look this up on like other like blogs have already written about it because we're usually late to gig because you know work. <laughs> but uh yeah like i mean they they bring up good points like luke's temple being destroyed in the in time 19 period years that. 
in 19 and years. In 19 years. And it's like, well, like, what's with that? Like, you're not... Uh, maybe they're going to do something with Luke and Baby Yoda, per se. I don't know. But, like, here's the thing, though. F- 50 years... Like, Baby Yoda's... Fif- Grogu is 50 years old. In that 50 years, he's still pretty much a little teeny child, helpless to most things. He still falls asleep after he uses the Force. <laughs> yeah, basically. In ninth, I don't see how he can, like, escape in 19 years. Like, I don't when Kylo him. Ren or Although Ben Solo... Yes, but when Ben him. Solo destroys the temple, Luke literally said during one of the star, I think, The Last Jedi... That, uh, I haven't seen that one. That, um... People died. The people he was training died. So that I mean that Grogu would be dead. Unless he escapes, but how? Unless he be escaped, but how? Exactly. And maybe the whole story of how he escaped could be something that they could go off of. Yeah, but like I don't see that set up here. And you can't do a 19-year time jump when you have all these other shows that are going to be set during the time period... Of the timeline well, no, of like, Mandalorian. That that was a question that was raised, and it was like, well, what if Mando somehow found out about it and came back to save Yoda, well, baby Yoda, so to speak, and that's how he escapes. But <laughs> I mean, there's you're a right. lot. There's a lot of questions and unknowns that clearly were not given. Um, yeah, and I don't think we're going to get those all in one episode. That's just too much to ask. Oh, of course. It's like, I mean, asking for a movie, like, to summarize a whole, like, seven um, book yeah. type, like series. Like, yeah. you can't do that in one movie. Cut down in so much time. It's just not possible. That's why there's, like, seven books. It's to yeah. keep going. Because there's so much to it. But I don't think they set themselves up right for the next season, so to speak. Uh, and um, and that, that could be a decisive opinion, but I'm, I'm agreeing with Allie. I don't, I don't think they set it up perfectly. Um, they set up a Boba Fett show, and that didn't even set up that well. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's... It's odd to go in the direction they're choosing. Yeah. I don't agree with their decisions in this. Do I think it's going to be shit? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd have to see it. If it's in order still to have the my- same, if it's Dave Fioni and all, um, if they have the same showrunners and all as Mandalorian, I don't think it'll be shit. Um, I think it might yeah, get, but- take some time to get into. Um, I think that's the thing. It's like... You're so invested in the Mandalorian. And now they're kind of taking that away. And we're going off in a new direction. And I think the problem with that is that you don't have everyone on board. And I know this is like a super like opinion thing that I'm sure many of you are going to disagree with us with. And it makes sense. Like, I get that. Like, we're all going to disagree to well agree to disagree i guess you know yeah. and um i just i don't see how this is gonna be yeah meshing so well uh, i don't know yeah uh i just realized we went off on such a tangent we didn't give our rating yeah. for the episode <laughs> uh, <laughs> we did go on a tangent <laughs> uh the, what would you rate the season finale um Honestly, I give it a 10, but that's because I adore Luke, and as soon as I saw that green lightsaber, I got all fangirly and flipped the fuck out. Yeah. You, you can't you can't give this anything below a 10. Um, I think if you give this below a 10, it's because you're looking at really, really critically. Yeah. But, I mean, like, yes, we assess the things critically, but I still think it's a 10 out of 10. Entertainment value, a hundred percent. Just entertainment yeah. wise, yeah. Um, 
Now, if we're going off of, like, answering nope. questions, nope. no. No. Nope. But that's a whole different rating, so no, I'm going with 10. That's ten. my final answer. <laughs> 10. Um, let us know in the comments below what you thought. I'm pretty sure by this point in time, you probably gave us a ton of comments. Um just based off of what that we've said like yeah but if you haven't and you like this video give that a like and hit that subscribe button we also stream on twitch um come watch <laughs> ali be the mandalorian and try to grind up for that baby yoda in fortnite um, Fortnite. Yeah. so that's link the only to that and our, right and our discord are in the description <laughs> below and thank you guys so much for watching um, if you're still here <laughs> and, uh, like always, we'll see you guys in the next one later.